Hi everyone, and welcome to Storytime Shorts with the Rapid City Public Library. My name is Allie, and today we're going to be reading A Most Unusual Day, written by Sidra Mallory. This book is going to be so exciting. It is a, a, about a day that is different, a day that is incredible, unforgettable, joyful, and most unusual. Let's start reading and find out why. A Most Unusual Day. I would also like to thank Harper Collins for allowing us to read this book to you guys today. Usually, Caroline was awake with the birds. Her eyes would fly open and she'd jump into her parents' bed with a morning song for them. But not today. Today, Caroline lay still in her bed with her eyes closed, imagining the day before her. Today would be unusual. Caroline was usually organized, but not today. In her and Grandma's rush to catch the bus, she forgot her socks. She forgot her lunchbox. Her feet were sweaty, oof, and she had to eat school lunch. Muhammad Jones offered Caroline some of his lunch. You'll need your strength, he advised. That's okay, she said, but it wasn't, not today. She moved her broccoli across the foam tray and made a broccoli family, a big tall mother, a slightly shorter father, the daughter, and one more thing. Caroline was usually graceful, but not today. Today, when Miss Oliver asked, what is a family? Caroline raised her hand a little too fast, bumping Wendy Walker by mistake and on her really, really loose front tooth, just enough to make it fall out. <gasps> Wendy wasn't mad. Thanks, Caroline, she said, patting on her knee. I've been waiting for that tooth to fall out. Caroline smiled, but she felt slightly strange, like the space where Wendy's tooth once was. Hmm, what a strange feeling. Caroline was usually helpful, but not today. Today she wiped the tables. Well, she tried. Today she fed the fish. Well, she tried. She really tried to clean up the art center. She really tried. She thought she ought to practice for home. Dad said they'd be needing her help soon. You must be tired from all of that helping, Caroline, Miss Oliver said. Would you like to come over here and read with us? Caroline was usually calm, but today something kept her ta tapping her foot and her kept her tilting her chair, kept her chewing her thumbnail. She kept thinking about what would happen. Soon, soon, soon. She kept looking at the clock, looking at the door. Something was unusual about today. What unusual thing is going to happen? Because at the end of the, of the day, at dismissal, right when Caroline was unthinkably, inexplicably drawing an airplane on the school wall with her I got caught being good pencil, right when Miss Oliver looked at her and gasped, ah, Caroline, the bell rang. Usually Caroline's parents were calm and collected, but not today. Today, Daddy's glasses were held together with tape. Today, Mommy's socks did not match. They had sleepy eyes and big giant smiles. They had a blanket. Today, they had a bundle from far, far away. Today, they had her new baby sister. <gasps> with her toes perfectly curled and her eyes perfectly bright, her cry perfectly high, her fingers so strong and so, so small, perfectly tight around Caroline's fingers. This baby made everything every usual again, every usual thing, usually new and perfect and right. This baby, her sister, made Caroline's day. 
B M. What an unusual but wonderful day. Caroline got a new baby sister. Have you ever experienced that before where you have an unusual day and you get a new baby brother or baby sister? It's very fun to be an older brother or sister. You get to take care of your baby brother or sister. You get to take care of your sibling and play with them. Well, thank you, my friends, for joining me today as we read this book. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube so that you can stay up to date with all of our latest crafts and story times. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day, friends. Bye.